Welcome to Flip Lesson 77 for the fifth grade. Today we are looking at comparing weight and mass and how to convert things around using these types of measurements as we look at this. So we start by just understanding the basic principles. We see that 16 ounces equals one pound and we see that so we have that idea. Then we also know that 2,000 pounds equals one ton, right? TN. So let's apply this knowledge to this question. It says a large rhino weighs about three tons. How many pounds does the rhino weigh? So we're going to use this principle right here. We see that one ton equals 2,000 pounds. And since we have three tons, then we need to take 2,000 pounds, because that's one ton, and we're going to multiply it by the three tons that we have. Now we're going to get a simple answer of 6,000 pounds. And so we use that conversion to help us figure this out. Now that's the, the US system. Of course, there is the other system, the metric system, where you have a slightly different understanding of how mass and weight works, right? 1,000 milligrams, right? M for milligrams equals one gram. 1,000 grams equals one kilogram. And 1,000 kilograms equals one metric ton, right? One metric ton, just a single T there. And so we can use this information to help us solve a problem. It says, Jerry picked a pumpkin that weighs 5 kilograms. What is the mass of the pumpkin in grams? And so in this case, we're going to look here to help us find our answer. We see that 1 kilogram equals 1,000 grams. And so if I have 1,000 grams and... Right, I have five kilograms, and it's going to be 1,000 times five, which is going to give us a quick answer of 5,000 grams. Right, so 5,000 grams equals five kilograms. So the pumpkin weighs 5,000 grams. Let's apply these to some more problems. It says Jerry works at a sandwich shop and uses two ounces of meat for each sandwich. If he makes 14 sandwiches, how many pounds of cheese does he? use. Alright, so it says he uses two ounces for a sandwich. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we want to figure out the total number of ounces that he has. So we're going to take 2 times 14, which is going to give us an answer of 28. Alright, so we have 28 ounces. Now the question says, how many pounds of cheese does he have? All right, and this is where our conversion comes in. We know that 16 ounces equals one pound. So if 16 ounces equals one pound and we have 28 ounces, we would have a total of, I'm going to subtract 16 from this 28 because that's going to give me one pound and that's going to leave me with 12 ounces left over. Right? And so I have one whole pound right? and I have 12 ounces left over and so one pound, 12 ounces. Now I ask for just in pounds. So we could take this and we could say, well, it's 12 out of 16. And since that's a fraction, we could reduce this fraction. Um, and we could see that I can divide both of these by the number 4. 12 divided by 4 is 3. 4 divided by 16 is 4. And so we have 3 fourths. So 1 and 3 fourths pounds. Now, that was a little more complex than what you will probably have to do, but you can understand where the number comes from. Here's another example. It says, Jerry's truck has a cargo capacity of half a metric ton. He has three containers weighing 127 kilograms, 149 kilograms, 132 kilograms. Will the weight of the containers overload the truck? So we have half of a metric ton, right? Half a metric ton would be 500 kilograms because we know that one thousand kilograms equals a ton. Then
what we need to do now is we need to add up our kilograms, right? We got 127, 149, 132. So we'll go 127, 149, and 132. So we're going to add these together. Right? And we're going to get an 8 down here, carry the 1. And we're going to get a 0 down here, carry the 1. And a 4 down here, so 408 kilograms. And of course, since half a metric ton is 500 kilograms, and we only have 408 kilograms, that would mean that no, the truck will not be overloaded because we only have 408 kilograms. So the truck will run properly. All right, here's a sample problem to get you on your way as you start working with mass and weight. That is lesson 77.